Cilantro is one of those herbs that really needs a good washing. I'm Kate in the Real Simple Test Kitchen, and I'm going to show you how to wash, chop, and store cilantro. Cilantro is so much more gritty and has so much more dirt than so many other herbs, so the washing is really important. So I always use a large bowl of water, and I dunk and swish. This really allows all of the dirt and all of the soil to fall to the bottom of the bowl. I always change the bowl at least twice, sometimes three times, depending on how dirty the cilantro is. And I dunk and I swish until the water runs clear. Shake off. Really shake it off. And then you're going to dry it in some paper towels. I save these paper towels because I'm going to use them later. Then I just start chopping. Cilantro, unlike some other herbs, have, is really tender. So you can just slice through the stems. I gather up the herbs in my hand and really just slice down onto the cutting board. And I only cut what I'm going to use. Cilantro stores much better and lasts longer if it's left whole. And I put one end of the knife on the cutting board and just rock back and forth. I do this two, maybe three times, any more than that, and the cilantro will start to turn black. Then to store, I'm going to take the damp towels that I used to dry it off, wrap it up, and put it in a resealable plastic bag. This will last three, maybe four or five days. If the towel becomes dry, just sprinkle it with a little bit more water. And I'm done. I'm stored, I'm chopped, and I'm ready for guacamole, salad, marinades, pretty much any recipe that calls for cilantro.